Oh, it's the same zones, I think. Bad, bad girls. Same as zones that we played before. With maybe not the best coach in the world. Um, but of course, he doesn't have to be if he's using Amazons. Uh, when was the last time he played with uh, Dances with Ghouls? He beat 2 0, 2 0. He might have got two concession wins there. No. I got really lucky, I think, last time, to be honest. I think I did get very lucky. I don't want to use all the bang for a wizard. Um, but then on the other hand, this is exactly the kind of game that you should use the entire bang for a wizard. So, done. Yeah, a few people said that crazily, man. A lot of people don't like the music on in the background of various people. Yeah, that's true. Scumming a wizard. But I mean, look, if anyone deserves a wizard scummed against them, it's fucking Amazons, isn't it? Got a bit more block this time, but then he's probably got more block. I think the same kind of setup to deny the LOS if possible. Wow, he's got guard though. He's got oh, he's got more guard now. He's got three guard. Oh, oh, god. Doesn't have any mighty blow at least. But I mean that's super easy with guard, you can just easily two dice these guys down. So I don't think it's a good idea to have them on the LOS. Have them holding the flanks. Don't care too much about a quick snap, I don't think. Mm, maybe a bit. In fact, I just set up normally. Yeah, I just set up normally, don't <laughs> Trish and Fireball, no balls. <laughs> oh, man. I'm ready for the non stop morning. Oh, yeah, the, of the actual Amazons. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, I don't non stop moan. I might, though. Because it's fucking Amazons, isn't it? They're disgusting. How many bludge does he have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bludge. <laughs> But at least a few more block to hit the ones without block. <laughs> it is, yeah, try. It is the exact same zone, except he's got more guard now. He's got two extra guard players. Um, and I've got extra block and mighty block. Mm, 
could could jam warriors on the line three warriors in but with the guards it would be too easy to break them all down wouldn't it? I think maybe three warriors with guys here just put a guard two dice this warrior putting a guard two dice this warrior two dice this guy blitz in as well he probably could protect them all I think I think this is the perfect defense <laughs> oh god cow from Amazon oh, I guess I should have put him there but I think at least this way his guards occupied if he Movement A, now just seven. A ghoul. Or oh, Hummer Zep. Oh yeah, blitz him into an extra block. He's, he's not bad, he's not bad, but I think he, uh, he isn't great. We could put warriors in there and try to get a two. I obviously want to blitz the guard just because it's guard. But <laughs> maybe blitz this one and then block another one. Blitz her, push her, and then push this one as well. Doesn't seem that good, does it? Could just dodge out. Three dice this one. Mighty blow. I think that's probably what I want to do the most. Oh god, he was salty as well, wasn't he? Was this the one who was salty and took all the time or not? Maybe I'm just imagining that. Maybe that was somebody else. Didn't die though, pretty good. Lone tackle, yeah, maybe, Mr. Maybe VIP, Mr. Yamandan. Yeah, maybe, because it's a 12th player. I'm going to tackle it to hit people. The thing is, I don't want to blitz with a journeyman without block. I don't want to blitz with a lone without block, so I wouldn't even use him. Maybe the chainsaw to try to get lucky, but I don't know. I, I really wouldn't like the tackle guy, to be honest. Yeah. 
So if he fails this dodge, I can bolt. He's done a crazy, uh, crazy push there, hasn't he? At this at this stage. Not in range with him. I'm just gonna help dirt base, base, base next turn. And hope that um hope that the turn after I can wizard. Say her base, base, base. I'm also just getting based and can't do anything about it. But maybe blitz with him and get in because can't even push him. You can't reach him to blitz. Just blitz, blitz a guard guy with mighty blow. Warrior, get these guys back. That's an option, isn't it? That would at least, because this push isn't going to make a great deal of difference anyway. Whereas this push gets another push. <laughs> And maybe gets a card. Hmm. Didn't even get the push that time. No, you can only get one skill, Mr. Yemen and that's the killer. Yeah, exactly. Three block is good as long as the blocks can get on non-block players, which I haven't really been able to do yet. Well, at least he's committing four players to, to three over there. So that's okay. Obviously getting banged on, not so okay. Maybe he'll switch sides. Doing a GFI before making the ball safe is ballsy, isn't it, to say the least? Blitz without block. GFI, blitz without block. Could have wizarded actually. G 
Geophyte to bl blitz him and then I can waste the ball. This guy can get surfed unless he blitzes. Can't get the assist for him either. So that's pretty shit. Try to power him first. Got him. Ooh, got him. Fucking push. Oh my god, him having dodge optional is just to be a fucking piece of shit, isn't it? That's literally the only reason. Just so he can be an absolute fucking... As if it's not bad enough that he's using Amazons. He has, he has got them there. He's got that optional for the sole reason of being a cut. Right, this warrior might have to get surfed then. Anyway. But if it gives us a good chance to bowl afterwards, it's worth it, isn't it? Hello, Villa Hoppier. It is, yeah, rematch from yesterday. You can probably win. Probably win. Nah, I couldn't just dodge it, fail the dodge, no. And then he's got loads of space that side, hasn't he? I guess you can just stun two guys and he's got loads of space outside anyway. But... <sighs> so he he chose to not surf the warrior so that, so he could blitz the ball carrier free. I think that was the right choice. But the <laughs> The whole fucking team, like, to get two stuns there, it's, it's pretty unlucky, isn't it? Pretty unlucky. Uh, it's not, it's not, it's not unreasonable though, it's not like unlikely to get our bash back to fuck by zones, is it? They've got more guard, they've got more block, they've got more dodge. Their armor 7 only matters if they get knocked over. So... It's not like I wasn't expecting to get outbashed. To not get outbashed. Make them armor one, so every time you get knocked over, their armor breaks. That would be a good change for some of Sad thing is, if these two guys were like either not down or not stunned, the fireball here would be pretty good because you know it gives a hit on the ball. I'd be able to move people in maybe, but as it is, there's just nothing there. Is there? Absolutely fucking nothing there. Got a pal, watch out. Kill. He should have stood up for it. Another KO. G5. 
Geophyte, the base. It's just rough, I've got no players. <laughs> I could re-roll this, I guess. He can go there for another block, can he? It's just, it's just grim, because he can just go back fully protected. It was a brutal, brutal couple of stuns then. Absolutely fucking brutal. That's a good idea, more than an idea. Amazon Prime subscribe, yeah. Oh, super VIP or Yeah, um, it's just too late, isn't it? Because you can make the you can make the the ball really safe here. Got out of position, didn't I? That those stuns were just huge. Absolutely. Maybe game winning or game tying. So, uh, stuns. Interesting, interesting strategy. Is he, is he just going to full potato here? Wow! Imagine we failed that dodge. Holy shit! He was just one in nine. It was straight up lose then. Bolt would have come down, and there'd have been four fucking chaos players and no Amazons. Wow! What a mad bastard. That was fuck. What a mental fucking dodge. I guess he's going to hand off to him or something. That was fucking nuts. Yeah, I don't mind the bolt here. Lads, boys, lads. Depending on what happens. Nah, I was thinking he was going to go actually on the side. He, didn't, he did that last time, didn't he? He did, he did the handoff to the one that was ahead that wasn't even protected. It's a little bit tempting, isn't it? GFI to blitz him. He's free. He can come around here. These guys can come in. Yeah, alright then, let's go. Okay, old. Good bolt. Shame it wasn't his ball carrier.
Holy shit, roll the pow. Oh man. You did up all the wizard, yeah? Double GF fighter there at the end of the turn. Seems alright. Down, I think. Shame it wasn't this block then. Right. Double GFI. Yeah. Oh, what a lad! All right, pretty good couple of stuns there, even with the, even with the echo. Yeah, yeah, for the wizard, yeah. Foul, there's no... Oh, yeah, because the foul... I didn't have anyone left to foul with, did I? It was a hell of a turn, though, wasn't it, still? You can get the ball with a block warrior. Pretty safe. Right, need to, uh, so need to be a bit clever about failing. It's annoying that the that the block guy can't actually get safe, can he? He'd have to go one, two, three, four, five, and then GFI to get completely safe. Um, and then if he did, then there's a lot of players make this block oh then that blocks him in there so he's got to but then I don't care about making a block so he can just block in here first oh wow I powered him so that frees up a beast man so there's he can block there as well never mind the blitz um so one two Three, four. There's definitely four players. What if I fail a pick up and then one, two, three, four, five? It's just too easy to dodge in and uphill me, isn't it? I think he has to go there because there's there's plenty of players now. I don't do the blocks because I don't have rerolls for them. One, two, three, four, five, GFI to there. So whatever happens, he could come here. I didn't need a scoring card, I'd have been happy stopping him scoring. I couldn't even blitz because I didn't have a block plate to blitz with. 
It scat I couldn't. There's nothing I could do. Could there? If it scattered out, it scattered out. About a one in eighteen. That wasn't it. Less than a one in eighteen to fill the pickup and it scatter out. At least I'd move that guy down to make it a bit safe. Maybe he should have been there. To be fair, he should have probably gone to there instead. But still. Oh well, he won in nine at least. <laughs> Half a chance. That guy's guards have to hit from here. Can't make a dodge. Obviously. Well, oh, maybe put him there. That's not bad, is it? Should have moved some safe moves first, so I could have taken the both down. Tagging both of them is alright, but then coming in here seems good. It's a bit shit, then I did want to hit, keep him there and I guess he could have just gone there, so I, nah, maybe he's fucked up. Maybe I should have taken the board down. If I'd moved him first to here, I like if I'd moved, if I'd just stayed him there, kept him there, and I still didn't want, I still wanted him there. Right, if he doesn't score, it's ideal, isn't it? Because one KO versus two. Including his guard stand firm is huge, and his apple's gone as well. And obviously stopped him scoring. It would be great if he doesn't score. <laughs> oh, <baby. laughs> it is the same guy from yesterday, yeah. Uh, by case. Hello, BB Snow. He still does not play chaos, you dirty dingo. One dice pal, he knows how to play Amazon, doesn't he, eh? Four plus three plus, one dice pal. Oh, fuck off. Just fuck off, man. This fucking dodge is optional. <gasps> can't believe that. I can't believe the dodge is optional bullshit that he pulls. I'm doing the right play here though. Well, in my opinion, it's the right play. No, I didn't do the right play. <laughs> or in my opinion, not the right play. I think the play was to uh, was to block this guy and then go for the 4 plus 3 plus. 
because then you've got skill pick skills on them, haven't you? So it doesn't matter because he's Amazons and he's just gonna roll some dice. Fucking cunt. But I think the right play would have been to have uh, blocked him and then do a four-three dodge. Because he's having to do two three plus dodges and a four plus pickup, isn't he? No, baby, it's not. He's just a complete shithead. He's a complete. Complete asshole. <laughs> right, 10 versus 10. Oh, no, it's not 10 versus 10 in the second half. Oh, shit. Might be men down in the second half. That was annoying. This is going to be an annoying draw loss. <laughs> Yeah, you can, you can change it in between the match. In the match, there's just no need to do it against all, you know, for the whole match long. It's just, it's just, you know, it's just to be an asshole, isn't it? I mean, by using Amazons, you're being an asshole anyway. Um, it is a shame, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, there's no chance to win unless he, unless he concedes or whatever. Because, I mean, I'm not... I'm not even going to try to win. No, it's, it's not. I guess it. Okay, it is, it is technically possible to murder his team and score twice, but I can't see it happening. I really can't. Right. That's a good player to blitz with mighty blow. I'm not even going to try one turn, not with movement six and ten players. Though he has set up to make it possible. Oh, five star player point down. He can try a completion. Yeah, it is possible with movement six, even without frenzy. You you kind of need eleven players though, and and a bad setup like what he's done. <laughs> right. Cover the ball first. Yeah, put that make the pass easier. Right. Got one. If I blitz on two, then I can come back and get a three count. Yes, got a cars. No, you don't need a frenzy to do it with moment six. You need your opponent to set up badly like he did, um, and you just need to obviously be pretty fucking lucky with the dice rolls. And you need how to do it, know how to do it, which is not obvious. <laughs> it's a lot easier to one turn with seven and six. Of a blood ball, Dowie. Yeah, <laughs> fucking Dowie. Oh, I think that's his guard up there. Oh, it's still got 11 though. 11 versus 10. Yeah, it's the guard up there. Fuck. 
blodge firm. No, no cure for blood bowl, but uh, a cure for pussy toes. <laughs> <laughs> and he's putting non-block on the OS. Well, that's that's fine by me, to be honest. Might have to do a might have to do a completion because okay, it's a shit. So can try a level pa no goals. <laughs> oh, he's got only got nine. No, he's not ten. Got a wizard hit me, but um, I mean it nearly worked out great, but just didn't because failed to pick up. This is a good lesson for Doden Zunk, isn't it? <laughs> Blocking diagonally to get more chances to pal to pal players. Oh my god, fifteen seconds. to throw level down. Hmm, you can block me in another block there, can I? Just go there. Um alright, ball's relatively safe, isn't it? Oh, Kaz. <laughs> Didn't even get sent off. Pretty good, wasn't it? I guess there's half a chance to kill his team and, and get him to concede, maybe. That would, wouldn't it? It would be good. Yeah, I'm surprised at no mighty blow as well. Yeah, like the stand firm. The bludge, bludge stand firm is annoying, but you know, you gotta have a mighty blow blitz, haven't you? You just gotta. It's it's just literally too good. When you know that one player is gonna make sixteen blocks in a in a game, you just have to have the mighty you have to it has to be with mighty blow, doesn't it? It makes too much too much of a difference. Yeah, you just don't have to have it op optional all the time though, Ardvac. You know, you could just switch it to optional on turn 8 or turn 16. So. Such a lot of FPS that it actually feels like a board game again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am sorry about that. It's just the, uh, you know, the limitations of streaming on the laptop. Hmm. 
Can only get a two assist foul on her. Or a three assist foul on her. I think two assist foul on her is better. Yeah, if you're going to have it optional, try not to spend 10 seconds thinking about every fucking time. Yeah, fair enough, Advac, fair enough. I mean, that that's fair, I guess, but still, I don't know. I wouldn't trust myself to not misclick with it. That happened to Andy Davo once, didn't he? He was like, he was like, how did he knock me down there? And then people were like, because you didn't choose, you didn't use dodge, and he was like, oh. <laughs> Shit. So yeah, I'd run the risk of for not for of forgetting to activate it on the last turn if it, if it saved me from uh, misclicks. <laughs> AI strats that, move one place then change your mind. Geofide ahead. Serves you right, you fuck. You did, yeah, I remember it vividly. I, I remembered you. I remember you. I remember you being mad. <laughs> Why the fuck did he just fall off? <laughs> it was great. How the fuck did he knock me over then? It was it was very funny. Ah <laughs> oh, man. Alright, let's go around here. Is it now? He's three, four, five. So you need this one as well. Taken 15 fucking seconds. Okay, at least it didn't take that long. Go for the one dice pal. The classic one dice pal, eh? Works for dwarves. Why not for me? No, no, it's a skull. What a surprise. Yeah. 
He's still not been one turn against apart from by movement turn. And he mustn't have played that many games against competent opponents than Wolfpack. Look, he's a bit crap there because he could have totally cracked open the cage, couldn't he, with a chain push? But luckily, he was a bit shit. Can't even have one. It's it's incredibly easy to score with movement eight elves. I mean, technically, wood elves, wood elf catches are almost movement nine anyway, aren't they? Movement eight sprint. But movement eight sprint's really easy. Movement eight without sprint isn't isn't hard. Like they still got to roll the dice, but like the mechanics of it are pretty hard to stop, no matter how you set up. Touchdown here. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Apo a journeyman. I guess it's not gonna I guess I just can't. The stun's bad enough. Fuck, he gets a big foul as well. Oh, these chaos here, my apple. make sure of it with three dice so. <laughs> make sure of it not being a turnover at least <sighs> holy shit Can't foul, can I? Unless I just run all the way away. Well, I can't because it's turn 12. Pretty fucking annoying, I tell you. <laughs> Run all the way away, fouling's more important. Shit. 
Stop. He's dead already. Fucking hell. I'm just getting diced to death here against fucking Amazons of all teams. I mean, it is the actual worst possible matchup, isn't it? Amazons. Oh yeah, lizards, lizards are as well. Lizards and Amazons are tied for worst possible matchup, aren't they? They're both, they're both the worst. But they are, they, I mean, they are. The lizards and uh, lizards and zones are both pretty bad. Tied for worst possible matchup. All right. Try to get lucky. I mean, there's no difference, I'm still going to push in the same square. Well, I'm going to take both down, I think. So then he can get the foul in. I just can't even go anywhere. <laughs> I can't even <laughs> make progress without like a hundred GFIs. I got no fucking players left. I was thinking he'll go out in front and foul. But if he does go out in front, then he's got to fucking make two GFIs to get there as well. Seed at this point. Pick the skull. What can I possibly do with no players? That's stupid, isn't it? Oh shit, three eighty TV, not good. Yeah, Liz, Liz, I think about a thousand TV. I don't know. Zons and Liz, I think, you know, with some skills, I think, uh, to be fair, I'd, okay, to be fair, Bleeding Hippie. <laughs> with four skills, the Zons get four guards. And with four skills, the Lizards get four blocks. So I think Lizards are the worst at a thousand TV. And the Zons are kind of worse at this kind of TV, maybe. The thing is, with the Zons, at least you can get, kind of get lucky, can't you? Whereas with the. With the lizards, oh, man, lizards are lizards are both. They're both brutal, though. They're both horrible, horrible matchup. I mean, this guy is is not is not the best. He's not terrible, but I wouldn't say he's particularly good at all. And he's still like fifteen, fucking two, three or something. And you know, he's still gonna just auto win this game probably. And that is the problem with lizards, yeah, Wolfpack. They don't have any they don't have any, any fodder, do they? So well the closest they've got to fodder is the skinks. But they kinda need the skinks if they want to ever score a touchdown. And they just get so they just get wrecked against tackle pommers, the skinks get wrecked if they if the tackle if the tackle pommers aren't controlled by Saurus. And you can't control claw pommers, so you just get wrecked by claw pommers. I don't even break through at all. Well, it might be a might be a chance here, mightn't it? If I just roll, you know, a hundred pals in one turn. 
I think, he, I think he is not good. Not good at Blood Bowl. But not that much of a hindrance when you're using Amazons. off to him. Potato. He could GF5 alone. He's not even alone. So he could get ahead. G Wolf rolls a double. <laughs> I think I'll go to an out. <laughs> mightn't. What's wrong with mightn't? It means might not. My evil has never been selected so fast. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't deliberate a double on a, on a werewolf, come on. Take it on a double six, though. I'd probably deliberate a double six. I think I'd take strength, though. Strength on a wheel is just too good, isn't it? They're a bit shit being strength three, I think. These people, like, doing nothing, doesn't he? It's pretty amazing. Alright, so he has to blitz. Yeah, might as well be him. Uh, this guy could GFI. He's the stand firm one, fuck's sake. Blitz him and then run through, but I just can't rely on a pal, can I? That's not going to work. And indeed, it did not.
and then foul. Or what? Fighter there, yeah. Hmm. If I go there, then you can only only can dodge on the three plus there. No, it's... Following him doesn't seem very good. You can just put him in there to. Uh... And then dodge him out and get a one dice easily. Two dodges to get a one dice otherwise. So yeah, alright then, go for this foul. Um, the TV difference wasn't actually that much, it was only about 60 or something, I scummed the wizard pretty hard. Because, you know, it's Amazon's. Hey, <laughs> get fucked! <laughs> oh, you deserve that, you little cunt. Brilliant. Alright. Let's go for a 3DB, even though I've got to make a GFI as well. It's a bit stupid, isn't it? No, I've got the skill. It's a fucking skill. Mm, justice. Yeah, it, would, it was like 60 more or something. It wasn't... I mean, it was 90 more. I can't remember. It was some amount more. Um, but, you know... It's Amazon, so I'm scumming the wizard every day. Well, it would have been for star player points, wouldn't it, Wolfpack? Um, that would have been the point. But Sings is on 16 already. There was... It wasn't worth the risk of the 1 in 27 having to use the reroll. I don't think. Yeah, that's the thing. I would have taken the draw at the start of the match. But obviously, yeah, it's the fact that he got lucky to score, isn't it? Should have been a 1-0 win, really. Also could have appalled that miss next game.
Yeah, well, that was the thing. It didn't. I pulling the miss next game wouldn't help win the game, would it? Because it was in the second half anyway. So you know, it would have just maybe save the miss next game. It's not really worth it, is it? Um, yeah, the mighty bow guy, mighty bow warrior, skilled up. So it'll be the like strength or claw. I guess I could go block. I could just go block, mighty blow block. Maybe, to be honest. Just be boring. Go the boring safe route instead of mighty blow claw. Does give you, does give you a good tool though against dwarves, doesn't it? Dwarves and orcs. Because this, this team is just going to get hammered. Oh, there you go. There's, oh, it's the fucking... It's the fucking journeyman. So like the might block mighty blow is just better, I think. Nine times out of ten. But the mighty blow claw gives you a chance against orcs and which just hammer you. That's the thing, isn't it? They just they just hammer you. You've got no game against orcs. even at eighteen hundred against orcs, you're only um <laughs> yeah, the thing is though, by case I would have had to. It was just because somebody died, you know, two days before. Um, but then the funny thing is, Crimson Fox had four claw pommers and still lost. So. Yeah, dead loner MVP, wouldn't be surprised. Oh god, look at this guy. Like, this is BM, isn't it? Like, it's okay making a foul on turn 16, but holy shit, just fucking do it, you fucking shit. <laughs> Instant apple for no reason. <laughs> Uh, four four claw bomb is definitely the sweet spot wolf bar because then it gives you a three off the LOS and your blitz. So absolutely four claw bomb. Tree fagger. He got cast on the last turn, got the MVP, alright. Got out A V breaked. Out cast. But um, probably rolled a fair. No, no, that felt like I didn't roll many powers. But I, I bet the stats say that I did roll a decent amount of powers. More skulls than powers, but more powers than push powers. More powers than both downs, and more powers as a as a percentage than pushes. So one double skull, two double skulls. So. There you go. Oops. Probably just because he's a salty piece of shit at the mad. He was salty in the other game, and uh, you know he's probably you know he, he he intentionally takes fifteen seconds every block to choose whether to use dodge. So he's probably just a just a bad person. <laughs> Sixteen claw bombs this week, but yeah. It's actually a tough choice then, because Claw would give us a chance against Orcs. And without Claw, they're just a really shit Orc team. Like, how bad is this for an Orc team? There's some block and some some mighty blow, so... I'm te really tempted to go Claw. Um, yeah, I was disappointed. That should have been a win, shouldn't it? 
Right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.